what we have here is a pronghorn antelope skull uh, minus the lower jaw. This uh, skull was cleaned using dermestid beetles. With dermestid beetles you can uh, see how clean this skull has actually gotten. The beetles have removed all of the flesh, fat, cartilage, um, tissue, um, muscle tissue uh, from the skull and they'll leave you know the fine bones like the nasal membrane here intact uh, with dermestead beetles you have very little if at all any bone separation you have no bone shrinkage you have no bone damage uh, using uh, dermestid beetles. The beetles will get into uh, every little crevice and cavity on these skulls and remove all of the flesh so that you can properly degrease and uh, whiten it and move on to uh, either metal coating it or uh, whitening it completely and then mounting it. Uh, before placing your uh, pronghorns or antelope or any horn game into uh, your beetle uh, tanks, you want to remove the horns. Now this is the horn sheet that's been removed from the bone core. Uh, there's several different ways to remove the, the horn sheath from the bone core. I'll cover that in another video. But a uh, pronghorn is a uh, keratin. It's hair that continues to grow. You can see the fine hairs on this horn. Um, antelope, pronghorn antelope, uh, contrary to popular belief, do not shed their horns. This is hair, keratin, guys, that continues to grow. They don't shed their horns. Again, you can see uh, the hair and uh, the horns will slide right back on through the bone core uh, removing these uh, horns properly if you do it the right way you won't get any shrinkage or splitting or damage to the horns but they need to be removed before you put them in the tank uh, what we're going to do with this skull is actually metal coat it in bronze and I have over here an example of an Impala skull that has been bronzed metal coated with uh, real bronze metal and a dark patina and you can see the bronze on this skull So we don't necessarily have to uh, get this skull completely white, but we do have to have it 100% clean and completely degreased before we can apply any metal coat to the skull. And I'll take you back over here to the beetle tank where uh, previously I placed a, uh, the lower jaw of the pronghorn that we just finished cleaning. And you can see that this jaw is, uh, it's been about five minutes, and this jaw is just covered with um, beetles and the larvae. And if you listen real carefully, you may actually hear these beetles. Sounds like uh, ants walking on styrofoam. But they'll begin to consume all the, the meat, flesh, and uh, skin, any muscle tissue. You'll see some of the uh, tissue here by the teeth. And they'll remove all of that. 
and leaving the teeth intact. And they'll clean this jawbone. Oh, in about eight hours, uh, 1,500 beetles can easily clean this jawbone uh, and remove all the, the flesh. Um, after all the flesh is removed, uh, then we can begin the degreasing process and uh, whitening. Um, it's important to uh, have the, uh, the bones 100% clean with no grease, no fat, and no cartilage attached to them um, if you want a quality clean skull or a bone. And additionally, in, uh, we're going to metal coat this jawbone, so it does have to be extremely clean. But you can see the beetles have attached themselves to this jaw and are just going to town. You know, in my next video I'll upload uh, here in a day or so will show how the meat has been uh, completely removed from this jawbone.